The perfect Netflix audition setup. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. When you go and send off your audition tape to the casting director, you want them to look at it and go, wow. Wow. This actor's really good. Now it's not just your acting that's important. It's also the look of your self tape. How does it look when they're watching you? Can they hear you? All these different factors are gonna get involved. So I'm gonna be telling you what is the perfect setup for yourself. My whole goal is after you guys watch my videos, you guys can go away and say, wow, I learned a lot from that. And that's what we're gonna be getting from this video today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Point number one is this. You have to have for yourself a clean backdrop. You need to have something behind you that's just blank. So you don't wanna have all of this right now that you see behind me. Even though this is nice, it's great, and it looks awesome for the camera, it's great for YouTube, but it's not great for a self-tape audition that you're gonna have for yourself. The background has to be blank because then they get to focus just on you. That's the most important thing. They wanna see how do you look? Do you look right for the part that they're particularly casting at this point in time? If you have stuff in the back, it can get distracting for yourself. Typically, the colors that people will have for backdrops will either be uh, off-white, black, or blue. I'll also put on the screen here just so you can see a snapshot if you go on Amazon what the prices will be for some of these items that we're going to be talking about just so you get the general idea of pricing. Point number two is you want to have a great lighting setup for yourself. They have to be able to see you. So if you only have one light in the room but it's not a very bright light, they don't get to see all the features on your face. And the thing is when you have different lights in the room, you get to control how you look. So if you want to look better on camera, you want to have your lights placed in certain particular spots. And you're fine for yourself. Typically, you're going to want to have not just one light, but typically either two or three lights for yourself. You have to find what works best for you. Now, people are going to ask, hey, should they get a ring light for themselves? Should they use another type of light? It's up to you. But honestly, the thing that's really important is that you're able to be seen. That's what the casting directors want. I will say as a tip, if you do decide to get ring lights for yourself, though, be careful of them because you don't want the ring to show up in your eye. That looks really off-putting. Also, it can be distracting for the casting directors when you're watching you, and you don't want to have any sort of distractions at all. The way around this is, is just to get a nice white sheet. Just put it over your ring light so it still shines bright, but it doesn't have that circle that will appear in your Eye. Point number three is to have a good camera for yourself. We can use our phones, of course, but this is talking about in this video how to get the best self tape setup for yourself. And the best thing that you can do is to have a professional camera filming you. Now, you're going to say to yourself, well, cameras are a lot of money, and it's true, they are, but it depends which cameras you decide to get. If you get a camera now compared to a camera that's available from 10 years ago, there's a huge price difference in there, meaning cameras from 10 years ago or eight years ago where they were used all the time and they were the top of the line back then are a lot cheaper now today. So for example, a new Canon camera today is going to cost more than a Canon camera from eight to 10 years ago. Now, of course, if you want to buy the new one, is it going to look a little bit better? Is it going to have extra features for yourself? Yeah, it is because it's brand new. But does that mean one from eight years ago won't work just as well for you and look better than using just your phone? 99% of the time they will. And you just want to have a professional camera for yourself to film you. So then again, you look better, the lights work, you can change a lot of settings in the camera so you can come across the best to the casting directors when they're viewing your self tapes. Now the next point on here is audio. They gotta be able to hear you. So the one bummer about cameras is, is that if you just use the camera without any sort of microphone at all, you're gonna look great, but they're not gonna be able to hear you. That's not very good for yourself. So what you're gonna wanna have is to have a microphone that you can also put with your camera. Typically, road mics tend to be the best. There's other options out there that you can do your research on and find. Also an extra little bonus tip when it comes to the audio, you also wanna make sure that your reader is easily able to be heard when you're doing the audition tape. Now, I got another little extra bonus tip for all of you here because a lot of you are going to be saying to yourself, wait a minute, now this is great. This is the perfect Netflix audition setup for myself. But now, what do I do if I can't afford some of these items? Now, I'm going to go really quickly here just to give you the cheap version for yourself if you don't want to go and spend the money on getting the backdrop, the lights, the camera, and the audio setup for yourself. What are other options that you do have that can be a little bit cheaper while you work up to getting this perfect setup? So, for the backdrop, you want to have a blank background. If you can't go and get a backdrop for yourself, you can always use a blank wall. You can use that. In terms of lighting for yourself, sometimes you can use daylight. If there's a window and there's a blank wall, you can use that to your advantage. You just have to make sure that you are recording at the proper time while the sun's still out and it's bright enough to fill up you. In terms of having a camera, of course, if you can buy a camera, that's the best thing. But let's say you can't, you just can't afford it. You can go and use your phones. There are a lot of actors who use their phones when they're doing self-tapes for themselves. But if you just want to get a perfect setup, then a 
of course you want to go and buy a camera eventually at some point. When it comes to audio, of course, if you're using your phone to record you, you can use the audio from the phone. Or let's imagine you have a great camera for yourself. You got the lights, you got the backdrop, but you just don't have an audio setup. What you can do is you can get your phone and place it in between you and your reader. And you can try and use that and have it record while you're also doing your tapes. And then you're just going to have to line them up in the editing process. So that's the cheap version of it. If you want to go down that route, you get to choose for yourself, but these are the things to do to have the best Netflix audition set up for yourself. And then of course, if you have to go and use a little bit of a cheaper version at the moment, I've also given you that option as well. All right, see you later.